Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to Bikes, Tom Segura's stand-up comedy, mostly stories on Netflix. Let's see what he has to say. Bikes! I get like <laughs> verbal tics, you know? I don't have Tourette's. I wish I did. It looks fun. But <laughs> I'll just yell shit. It's like a hook on a catchy song except it's just stuff that I watch and then Bikes! I just yell it, you know, over and over. Only like two or three million times. But <laughs> I'm obsessed with the show Scared Straight. Um, I yelled BIKES because it's in all caps in the title. And I did not know he was going to come in here and go BIKES. Because it just is like, it is like rather jarring that it's in all caps. Um, I also am married to a man who does stuff like that. And it's just like, why? Why are you yelling the most random word all the time? No. It's a, it's a whirlwind being married to somebody like, like that. <laughs> but I'm obsessed with the show Scared Straight. Um, if you've never seen it, it's tremendous. <laughs> Here's what they do. In the show, they take kids, middle school and high school kids that are getting in trouble a lot, and they send them to jail for a day. And the idea is that jail will scare the f out of the kid, and then he'll get his life together, hence Scared Straight. It's tremendous. <laughs> I'm obsessed with one episode. It aired once in 1999. Here's what's great. It aired uncensored, which is bananas. <laughs> and in this episode, they did not send the kids to jail like they normally do. Instead, they sent them to a maximum security penitentiary. Prison. <laughs> okay, this reminds me of I do like the show Scare Straight. I'm I'm a documentary girl. Anything that's like documentary style, I'm in it. Um, but do y'all remember Maury and how Maury was it Maury? I'm pretty sure it was Maury used to have the kids on that were like awful to their parents. They'd be like, you know, mom, that I don't care, that like terrible. And Ma Maury would bring on, I wanna say his name was Joe, like big black guy, like like in a like ranger outfit or something like that and he'd bring them on and they would take them to do this like scared straight thing it was like the same thing and i used to I, anytime i saw that was the topic for the day i'm like sit down don't talk to me i'm in it because it is phenomenal television programming i agree with tom per usual from security penitentiary this is nuts prison this is nuts and those Insane. prisoners verbally assaulted these kids into crying a lot. <laughs> and it's the funniest shit I have ever seen <laughs> in my life. <laughs> First of all, don't feel like too bad for the, these kids are super bad. They're not like <laughs> spitting spitballs in class and say, they're stabbing other kids. <laughs> they're bad ass kids, okay? And they show up to this thing with attitude. Like they walk in, they're like, what's up? I just ain't, I run sixth grade. I ain't scared of you, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and they're greeted by a guy named Crazy Chris. Chris has scars on his face, and it's the screen freezes, and it says, Chris killed six people, and he's doing a double life sentence. Like, this dude is so bad that when he dies and he's reincarnated, that guy's doing life in prison also. I've never heard anyone uh, break down reincarnating or uh, double life sentences, multiple life sentences like that. But that's like hilarious. Like, and when you come back, you're going back to jail. That's hilarious. So when he dies and he's reincarnated, that guy's doing life in prison also. <laughs> so this is a bad moment right here. <laughs> the kids are like squatting around and Chris is like, hey, my name's Crazy Chris. And from now on, you will see me in your nightmares. And the kids are like, what the <laughs> I'm 12, don't talk to me like that, man, that's crazy. And then he goes, if I ever see you again, I'll take a bite out of each of you. And they're like, all right, we're all reformed now. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Jesus, but they can't leave. The next guy comes up to him and he goes, uh, hold my pocket, hold my pocket. <laughs> and he makes kids walk around holding the inside of his pocket. You understand? So he walks and then they're like, uh -huh. 
I need to see this episode. Is it on YouTube somewhere? I need to see this episode. I need, please tell me this is for real. I need to see this episode. Yeah, so he walks and then they're like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you know about prison, but if you're holding on to another dude's pocket, it's gonna be a rough day, all right? <laughs> Not only is this guy making kids hold his, but he's talking ridiculous sh to middle schoolers. He's like, I'm gonna make you suck my dick for breakfast. <laughs> Every morning. The kid's like, Ugh. I hate breakfast. <laughs> Funny sh like that. I hate breakfast. So. I love his voice, this like second character's voice. Hold my pocket. Hold my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's so he's like, I'm gonna mush your face. And the kids are like, uh, uh, uh. So, <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> there's one exchange where this dude, he pulls a kid out of line. The kid's like 13. He weighs, I don't know, 100 pounds. <laughs> and he has a bowl cut. Okay, he has a bowl cut. <laughs> in prison do, 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 do. it's parted in the middle y'all never forget when i found out like what a bowl cut actually is like parents are really putting bowls on their kids head and cutting around because that's the extent of their expertise <laughs> it sent me it sent me and then rihanna got a bowl cut back in uh what was that 20 uh 2009 and I got one too do y'all remember when Rihanna had the bowl cut it was her like take a bow days like the her like re-emergence I did I got a bowl cut you'll never see it though <laughs> it's parted in the middle oh no and the prisoner goes why are you here and the kid's like Ugh. stealing and he goes the f you took And the kid goes, B bikes? And he goes, bikes! <laughs> and that's why I yell bikes all the time. <sighs> no, this is so true. Like, something like that will hold you hostage. It'll just, it'll just keep you there forever and you'll never be able to do it the same again because of something an experience like that that is so true and now i might be yelling bikes for the rest of my life <laughs> you should see me when we drive by a bike store oh <laughs> i'll be driving i'll be like oh and my wife she's pretty over it um <laughs> She'll go like, you get one. I'm like, all right, I'm going to make this out. <laughs> so I'll pull over. I roll down the window and I wait until I see somebody checking out one of the sidewalk displays, like with all the bikes out there. And when they find one they really like and they're like, oh, I like this one. I'll go, bikes. And they're like, what the? <laughs> and I'll go, stop selling drugs. And I drive up. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> I didn't, I, he, he brought it back full circle and I love that because I thought maybe the bike thing was over. Like he yelled it once. No, he, he literally drew an entire picture of us and I hope this is a real episode because you bet your bottom dollar I'm about to go put it in Google and see and then explain to us why he screamed bikes at us to begin with. Tom Segura, you are my spirit animal and I adore you. All right, please go have the day you deserve. Peace.